Jack was our customer. Now that Jack was sick, Nakakufa to collect your information with their wife. By the wife here. Is this the the same wife you are talking about? Koi. Yes. Koi. Yes. There's the wife to you, Jack. Uh huh. Yenda to let Ali to let the information go ofisi. Jack is dead. Is it true? Koi. Before before ni reach Kwenu. You are not aware of my husband's death because it was all over, it was everywhere in social media, in TVs, in radios. Kama ni kufamili uliniona kwa makaratasi. Kwa makaratasi my passport ata ikuwa imeandikuwa. Kwa karatasi hapo kwa nini, hapo kwa next of kin, ndiyo tamapa meandikuwa wanjiku, hapa jandikuwa mamanjeri. Kwa hivyo wacha kuniruka, kwa sababu unasikia, this story imeleta shida, hii plan imeleta shida. Iyo hata mkiniruka. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, in Eastern Central Africa, this is the leading channel, the home of bangers. I just want to appreciate every person when you want to take his or her time eh, to watch our bangers and really subscribe. We are so happy for you. If bad would you subscribe, what are you waiting for? Tafadali, join us in this wonderful journey. This is the only place you will get such kind of stories to na yongelelea, black Venya two ziko, no black and white hapa hivi, sawa And of course, I also, also want to appreciate our customers, our clients, who are really doing marvelous, who are really doing well, and our mba wana to support day and night. Remember, solar systems are the best system now. Remember, renewable energy is the way to go right now. Even the government is really pushing for green energy, sawa sawa And one of them is solar energy. It's very, very simple, and this is a one-time investment. The moment you do this, you forget electricity bills. Let me imagine kwako kitumia steamer, kama eh, otherwise, wakati kuna kama manyunyu manyunyu, imagine, uneza furaia sana. Don't forget, pia kuoga na majimoto, ineza kuwa kwako ni daily routine. Boilers, Sahi to install and it's also very simple. Remember, boiler 150,000 liters in a go for only 210,000. Peke yake, all right? And of course, we are here with these two beautiful ladies. The story is getting big, uh, interesting. I don't know what to say because we are getting different stories. Hapa. Wanjiko salimia watu. But then, but then, me ni ko salama. Karo. Yes. Salimi watu. But then, me ni ko salama. Naitwa Karo from insurance company. Okay, Karo. Another big shock that is arising from your story. Yes. Do you know her? Have you ever met her? Have you ever seen her? Who? Koi? Not really. Sijai mwana. Ebu mwulize kama shai mwana. Karo. Abari yako. Zuri sana. Karo ni jui. Pacha kusemo ni jui. Karo, I know unajua history yote ni dinafanya useme unijui. Karo unajua vizuri sana. Tulipatana na wewe na Benson. Na tulipatana kwa hoteli. Tulipatana na tukakaa chini na tukaongea. Ni kukumbushe tuliongea kuhusu insurance yenye principal mungai alikuwa ameweka na nini. Na tukakumbuka na nikaambua wewe ndi unafaa kwa approve. Na Benson aliniambia wewe ndi unafaa kwa approve kwa hivyo nisikue na wasi wasi. So wacha kuambia Ocha kuambia na nini tunijui, na nijua vizuri. Eh, mimi ulikutana na mimi? Yes. Mimi tu huyo? Yes. Maybe, lakini watu ufanana, uwezi jua. Principal Mungai na mjua vizuri sana. Halikuja kuna insurance huko kuetu, ana insurance huko kuetu. So maybe, nitangalia. You look like somebody niliona kwa picha, kwa hizo passport zake zinyalileta za watu wake, watoto na bibi yake. Maybe kama ni wewe, but mimi na wewe, we have never met. We have never met? Yes. Physically? Yes. Karo, yes. why is it that this story inaonekana kama inakubeba? Azinaje. 
Je mimi kazi zangu ni za ofisi. Sasa nilitoka kwa ofisi tena nikaenda kukutana na Mrs. Mungai wapi? Maybe kama ni mlimitu wapi? Mlimitu kwa hoteli. Kwa hoteli. Mm. Wewe Ben na yeye. Mimi Benson na yeye. What was the agenda of the meeting? The agenda of the meeting ni kukua. Nilikuwa Benson alikuwa anataka kunihakikishia ile kitu tunataka kufanya ikishafanyika pesa zitaka hizo pesa zini nilikuwa nategemea hizo 20 million na zitaka kwa sababu kuna ule mtu atakimpishana na hiyo maneno approve pesa zifanye nini pesa zitoke kwa hivyo karo najua nyinyi wote mnaniruka saa hii kwa sababu mnajua kimenilamba but wacha kuniruka tulipatana na we kwa hoteli tukiwa mimi na wewe na Benson watu wangapi watu watatu na tukakunywa hadi chai tulikunywa hadi chai tano so si ati ni kitu ninaweza sema ati nilimuona na siku muona ama ati juu ilikuwa evening ati ni sema ati siku muona vizuri ninamjua vizuri ni yeye karo can you take a minute just to tell us the truth tafadhali unajua kazi yetu inafanyika pale kwa ofisi So kama Ben amepata customer huwa anamleta pale kwa ofisi. Sasa hii story yenye mama Nigeria na jaribu kuleta si elewi. That's the truth. Kazi yetu tunafanya kwa ofisi tunamaliza kwa ofisi tunaenda. Tena mpaka the following day. Unasikia hiyo kitu amesema mama Njeri. Hiyo jina mama Njeri alijua hiyo siku. Juu ile siku tulipatana mimi na Koi na Benson so kwa hiyo so so available not also. that day see your siku mm-hmm. ile siku ya kwanza yenye tulipatana mimi na Koi na Benson mm-hmm. hapo ndio Benson alisikia ninaitwa mama Njeri umenishika hapo ndio Benson alisikia ninaitwa nini mama Njeri so the time we meet mimi na huyu na Benson Benson na Benson aliniita nani mama Njeri so umesikia wame repeat mama Njeri umesikia amesema mama Njeri Umesikia amesema mama Njeri so amenijulia wapi naitwa mama Njeri kwa makaratasi imeandikwa wanjiko and the other names ndio na watoto kwa makaratasi ndio imeandikwa next of kin kumeandikwa wanjiko kujaandikwa mama Njeri alinijulia wapi mama Njeri nimesikia hata stano pia kikuita mama Njeri that's why nimekuita mama Njeri you sure sijai sijai kutana na wewe useme tu kweli mama Njeri sijai kutana na wewe because hapa hivi hata mimi ni reason kama mtu mm-hmm. na is a reason too hivyo mm-hmm. eh jina mama Njeri huwezi sikia tu na ukumbuke hivyo mm-hmm. kama jina lake ri si ni kweli umesikia saa hizi na ukaikram ningekuita nani na nimesikia wakikuita saa hii wewe kwa makaratasi unasema unanijua kwa unaona ni kama ni kofamilia uliniona kwa makaratasi kwa makaratasi my passport hata iko imeandikwa kwa karatasi hapo kwa nini kwa hapo kwa next of kin ndio tumeandikwa wanchi kwa hapa jaandikwa mama njeri kwa hivyo acha kuniruka kwa sababu unasikia this story imeleta shida hii plan imeleta shida hiyo hata mkiniruka kimenilamba kimenilamba nilisema na nikaambia stano kama nitaenda kamiti tunaenda if i go down we go down sisi wote stano hata kama hii story ime, imeletwa hivyo hata kama wewe mama anajaribu kuruka mimi kazi yangu sifanyi kwa hoteli i do it in the office sasa yeye aseme ukweli penye tulikutana na yeye lakini kama aliona mtu mwingine pengine kama mwenye anafanana kama mimi maybe but i'm not the one yes Karo mwenye anafanya kazi na insurance yenye Benson anafanya nayo akiwa broker ni mko wangapi? I'm the only one. Sawa stano. Stano hapa hakuna kitu ya nilikwambia hakuna kitu ya kuficha. Ishajulikana ilijulikana. Na thank God nishukuru ni sana mimi bonangu bado wako uhai. Okay nilikuwa nimempangia kitu mbaya na ninamuomba msamaha. Mpaka saa hizi mahali yako mimi principal mungai my husband na kuomba msamaha watu wa kina principal naomba wa wapate tu mahali wanisame lakini unaona hawa waacha kuruka waacha kuruka wacha tuende wacha waacha tu tumie tu tutumie tu the light way it's okay kazi yangu ni ku ku, 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 ku approve those watu wenye wamepatwa na msiba tuseme kama bwana alinchua ama bibi alinchua that's my work but i don't do my work in the hotel please just understand understand me nielewe vizuri 
na hata kama ulikuwa umekuja kuongea sasa hiyo story mimi naingilia wapi wewe na kuua Mr. Mngai mimi naingilia wapi mama njiri mimi naingilia wapi hebu eleza sasa mimi na ni stano nimekwambia na nikakwambia tena mimi karo nilimjua jua alikuja na nani na Benson na venye walikuja niliambua yeye ndiye aliyapulufu nikafanya baka pesa za nani pesa za koi ndio zikafanya nini zikatoka sasa nitakosa kumtaja aje kama yeye ndiye alikuwa alikuwa mpaka pesa za koi zikitoka na ni yali approve ndio ikafanya nini kampuni ikakubali kulipa nitakosa aje kumtaja si yeye ndiye akawapo katikati kwa hivyo wanafanya kazi na nani na Benson mimi mtu akiniuliza nitasema wanafanya kazi na Benson juu Benson si Benson nilimuuliza na sasa nitakuwa aje sure kukuwa ti ikitu ikifanyika hizo pesa zitatoka akaniambia oh bado hujani trust nikamwambia si virahisi ku trust tu mtu hivi hivi june sijui kama ni, ni mpango iko na koi na wewe alafu tena ikukua ti sitapata nini sitapata hizi pesa akaniambia hapana ndio aliza ready tunafanya na ye kazi anaitwa karo na ndiye uanga na approve wapi kule kwa insurance ndio pesa zinatoka na tare zinatoka within 3 months utakuwa na pesa za so hata uki kabla jamaliza kumon utakuwa umekuwa na nini na pesa kwa mfuko so si nikasema mimi naweza nataka kuona huyo mnani huyo ready pia ndio nikaletewa karo na karo akakuja mpaka na documents za kunionyesha yeye anafanya kazi na insurance hiyo insurance yenye bwana yangu ameweka na yeye ni mkubwa anaweza approve so let me ask you swadi <coughs> wanjiko so Karo alikuwa na usika na hii kifa ya Mongai. Karo anahusika lakini hausiki. So, so he knew Mongai was die. Sijui kama anajua lakini yeye hausiki direct. Lakini unasikia yeye kwa hiyo insurance. Sasa mimi nitajua aje kama pengine wanakuanga already ameambua na Benson. Unaona? Sijui. Juu yeye unasikia nili, nilisema mimi venye hii sasa venye nilimwambia nataka venye tuliongea ikakuwa sasa nataka nione huyo mtu mwenye kwa insurance si lazima basi akuwa anajua kila kitu jua kuna venye Benson ataniendea mtu mwenye hawayukwangi kwa deal na ye. Benson alikuwa anakuleta kwa hii meeting kama nani meeting na, gani kwa condition gani yeye ni mlienda wewe Benson yeye ule ata customer kwa kwa ofisi mimi sijai kutana na huyo mtu mwenye mimi najua ni principal na hii sura yake vile nimemuona hata naona inafanana na zile picha principal ileta next of kin wake watoto wake i think now is the yeye ndio bibi wa principal that is all about principal acha kushinda tu akiongea uongo acha kushinda akidanganyana akipita njia mingi ati anapita huko anapita huko acha kushinda akiongea hizo zote akubali tu to limit because mimi si mwenda wazimu na hata siku ya kwanza yenye tulikuwa na wewe stano hiyo siku ndio ushike simu yangu na hizo messages i tell you nilikuambia vizuri hii deal iko na Benson Koi na Karo watu wangapi watu watatu mbona siku taja watu wengine huko nje mbona siku taja watu wengine so ukiniangalia hivi na kama mwenda azimu sikai mwenda azimu mimi si mwenda azimu mimi ninajua huyu vizuri hivyo namjua okay we meet once but ninamjua Oh, maybe wanataka ku, 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 kusema nini insurance yetu ni mbaya maybe uwezi jua lakini huu umesikia amenyana ameanza kusema wamsamea alikuwa anataka kuwa bibi yake bwanake so yeye mwenyewe bibi mzigo wake mwenyewe aelezee bwanake venye kulienda siwezi beba peke yangu mimi nilisema venye hii kitu ilikuja ikajulikana sitaenda chini peke yangu sitafungwa peke yangu juu nikinyamaza itakuwa sasa hata okay nitakuwa tu bado hata niki, hata nikifungwa saa hizi nitakuwa bado niko na huko ndani nitakuwa nikijiambia si huko mahali sawa mahali nafaa kusema juu si kusema kwa nini pengine kuna mwingine ataenda afanywe hivyo bwanangu hakufikiwa na hapo bwanangu hakufikiwa na hapo Mungu alimsaidia Mungu alimsaidia lakini ni kitu inaendelea ni kitu ilikuwa so it is like it is a channel so acha tujue how many people mapema ni mapema Watu wangapi wamepoteza maisha through ya company? Wengi sana. 
Oh, so it's something company. It's a company. It's go it's going on. Na inafanya kazi day and night. Daily. So hata mimi sasa. Kwa mimi sio na sisi anything can happen. So hata mimi sasa hii ni kinsho na nyinyi napoteza maisha. Hapa na don't really. Sio tu kinsho na sisi utakufa. Nashika swali yangu. Nimekuuliza ni watu wangapi wanapoteza maisha na kampuni hiyo. Sasa unajua sio tu kinsho na sisi utakufa. Ati sasa hii kinsho ina ina wa company unakufa ati naonekana kampuni yenu mbona harakishi harakishi ya mtu aende hapana hapana tufanye hivyo kazi yetu kazi yetu haiendani ni natajwa nani alitajwa you know by that and this your company ni kashtuka i never thought hata mimi watu wenye ameishwa na wao mimi sitakudanganya i've already talked to my friends because i know that wao umesikia wao meinsho huko kwetu wamekufa wote so bad sadly yeah. hakuna mtu ameishwa na nyenye life yeah. na hivi pia best zangu pia hana pesa hizo amount zenye zinatajwa hapa <laughs> na wajeishwa hizo amount mm. lakini ninaonekana kampuni yenu hii ndio biashara mnafanya hapana kazi yetu ni kuinsure those people yani unakuja unainsure your life the person who is dragging your company into this mess no not really mimi pia nimeandikwa tu hata mimi nimeinsure my, my life there Eh na mbona sijakufa? Na mbona hujaacha Sasa si ndo nashangaa unasema ati mtu akinishwa na kampuni yetu anakufa. Sio hivyo. Haya. What killed Jack? Nilikwambia mimi si nini nilijua Jack, si tulijua Jack amekufa. Sijui, mimi nilikwambia ukitaka kujua ile kitu iliua Jack, uliza koi. Not who? What killed Jack alikuwa mgonjwa mali. Jack akwa mgonjwa. What happened? Jack alipotea tuliambua amepotea alionekana amekufa. So Sijui uliza koi. Mpata information. Yeah. Uliza na Jack what happened to him? According to the company and according to the report that we get from the wife. Alisema alikuwa mgonjwa na alikufa. Jack. Alikuwa mgonjwa na akakufa. Autopsy kasema hivi. Alikufa akiwa hospitali. Alikufia hospitali. Yes. Is it true? Hiyo <coughs> ni story tu ari make. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet in a bit definitely. This is the home of bangers. In Eastern Central Africa hakuna wengine tu. Remember to subscribe, to like, comment of course to share. Kwa wale wa sola namba yangu ni very simple. 0708 0691 that 0708069130 let's meet in a bit anasema kifaya jack jack